All right, Wardell Manuel, if you don't know who that is, he is the athletic director for the University of Michigan. He says that he doesn't want to fire his friend Jim Harbaugh, therefore more Michigan fans will have to suffer. And I'll also talk about basically where I'm at, kind of responding to Mike Valenti on the 97 the ticket. Am I still hopeful like Wojo? Am I broken like Rich Rodriguez? Or I'm just done or finished? Um, I forget the dude that's on the 97 on the ticket with him, not Rico Beard, but the other one. Um, but let's talk about that. And also, Charles Wilson kind of responds to fans wanting him to be the Michigan next football head coach. So let's get into it. Check out our college sports playlist. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And in business, you see it all the time. You hire your buddy and he don't get the job done. Or, you know, you can't really mix friendship with business. It just don't never work. And I think Wardell Manuel got to do his best for the University of Michigan and fire him, but then again, he got a huge buyout, and I said it after the Indiana game, which I didn't even watch the Indiana game. I didn't watch the Michigan State game. Uh, neither was by design. Sunday, That Saturday at Michigan State, I had something to do, and then Indiana, I had something to do as well, too, but I ain't going to lie. Um, I ain't want to watch the Indiana game. I kind of knew the results was going to be that, but, you know, Manuel, uh, whatever Wardell, Manuel, Manuel Wardell, whatever his name is, you know, hopefully, like I said after the game, when I did the video Sunday, Harbaugh just stepped down. He sucked. He was been he was a beneficiary of Andrew Luck coming to Stanford. He been he was a beneficiary of a good great assistant coaches in Forty Nine er Land with Greg Roman, offensive coordinator. And I think he should just step down. But Wardell Manuel, you gotta do what you gotta do the tough you gotta make the tough decision. You know what's wrong with them is they give the Michigan men all this room for error. They get all this room. A guy like Rich Rodriguez who got in and they didn't respect him for whatever reason it was because he wasn't a Michigan man, to be real. He get this much room for error. And they got to look for the best candidate. And they got to, if he's a non-Michigan man, which he should be, um, you got to, you know, treat him like a Michigan man. You know, before Charles Woodson came, excuse me, before um, Wardell Manuel came and got his education at Michigan from New Orleans, you was... From Louisiana, he was representing your high school. Charles Wilson was from Ohio. You know what I'm saying? You wasn't a Michigan man. You came to Michigan got your education. Let's look at it the same way. If you go out there and you get Lincoln Riley, okay, now we we gonna make you, you gonna we gonna we gonna make you a Michigan man. You know, if you go out there and get any other coach, let's make him a Michigan man. Now I'm not as keen on the college scene as I once was when I was younger, so I don't know who the hot coaches are. But I do know they should have got that coach from Baylor. That went to Carolina. That's that was the coach that needed. He's a pretty good coach, but uh, Matt Rule is his name. But um, that just it kind of angers you that Wardell Manuel was gonna let Jim Harbaugh not only wear out his welcome, but continue to fail and continue to get up and try again and fail and fail and fail and fail again. I don't want to fire my friend. Well, you know what, Wardell Manuel, you ain't the right guy for the job. You know, and I hate to kind of you know not to, you know put blood brothers on black because it's not that many probably black athletic directors across the country. Maybe there is, but but the truth is, you got to be able to make the tough decisions. You got to be able to fire him. He needs to be fired. Him and Don Brown is terrible, you know. But let's move on. I'm not gonna speak speak on that too long. You know, I'm pretty much broken as a Michigan football fan. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm broken. I'm giving up. Um, you know, after you know, Torres Lori Carr tenure, the end of his tenure, he was garbage. Rich Rodriguez, they didn't give him a chance. Uh, Brady Hope, terrible. Um, and now we with Jim Harbaugh, which he is uh, atrocious. I'm broken as a Michigan football fan, still a fan. But it's hard to watch, you know, this team win. When you come out here, you build a 100,000-seat 100 100, seat stadium. You get all this hype every year. And I had, I had a hunch that if Joe Milton didn't jump, it was going to be because of the program or the surrounding cast wasn't good. And I also had a hunch that Harbaugh was just going to mess this kid up. And they played this in-conference schedule. It's going to be a wrap. So um, I'm broken. But, you know, Charles Wilson on this lighter note, somebody said, let me plant this seed. And I put the screenshot on the screen if I remember. You know, he had Wilson in a college head coach, Michigan uniform with a mic and all that. Michigan and uh, Charles Wilson, uh, he's uh, responded with emoji with the shade zone and cool. And, you know, Charles Wilson want to do it. I'm all for it, you know. Um, he know what it means to beat Ohio State. 
he know how important it is. Jim Harbaugh don't understand how important the job is. He didn't forgot his Michigan roots, University of Michigan roots. But I'm all down for Charles Wilson doing the thug thizzle here. Um, here, you know, it can't be no worse. He's a Michigan man, so he won't get no respect, no shade. Oh, he hasn't coached before. This is a man that spent, what, three years at the University of Michigan, won the Heisman, Heisman, won the Rose Bowl National Championship, I think it was that year, they shared it with Washington State or somebody else. And then this guy that ever been in the National Football League for, what, 15, 16, maybe around that many years. He played with the Packers. He played with the Raiders. He played back with the Raiders. You know, he played a long time. I think he got enough experience as a player to know how to coach. He pretty much know the rules of college football and all that. So I'm open to Charles Woodson doing a damn thing. Deion Sanders not in Jackson, Jackson State. Why not hire Charles Woodson? Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out if you have a business question, card response, your video quest. All my social media links in the description. Other than that, want to make a donation. Best way to do that, share the video, hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Check our college sports playlist for more videos like this. We gone.